2017 that makes it Wednesday, which makes it another live stream from me. That would be me, Bo Hindman. You're on my channel. If you're not, I don't know what you're watching right now, uh, but stop. Um, but anyway, so I'm watching a little... I'm watching... Or watching? What am I saying? I'm getting ready to interview some uh, some Shoki, right? Shoki? Yeah. Or is some it Shoki? It's Shoki. I'm going to hurt you if you say uh, Shoki. Okay. I, I figured. But I'm going to do a little interview interviewization is the fancy way to say it. It's what the pros say. Uh, hey, Alex. How are you doing? There's Alex in the chat room, by the way. Uh, uh, Shoki. I, I see know. him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You were I've hanging out with him. Um, and I just thought it'd be fun for tonight's hangout to do a little building. Um, Shoki, Sh Shoki, god darn it. Look, I can make your window a lot larger because I want to see what you're working on here. Has obviously got something cool that he's working on. So, um, we've been, uh, I, I found, I came across you, I was watching you on YouTube, I think, for a long time. And then I, th were you in the Texas Club or in the Boom Hut? I can't remember. I've been, uh, actually, I met you at my second or third Texas Gundam Club meet oh, in really? Austin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I met you in person already then. Yeah, we met in person. I don't remember what you were working on. I think you had brought the SD um, New Gundam, or High New. Mm, and you were, hmm. I, a long time ago, like almost like two years ago. Maybe. Because <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't YouTubing yet, but I already met you. I like you just... And you and you enlarging that proves that I need to work on my focus better. <laughs> yeah, you might focus a bit there. Um, so uh, you weren't YouTubing yet for t well. Let's not get ahead of ourselves because I wanted what I wanted to do was just get some of the basics so that we can get it down on on celluloid, as they say. And then uh, and then uh, if you if you you know become a famous builder, I'll have proof that I, I was able to interview. <laughs> I, I I interviewed the guy who made Twitch years ago before Twitch was Twitch even. And back then he was so proud of his you know tens of thousands of users they had yeah, so right. i mean it's I, I, i'm always proud of the fact that i can go back and look and say look i interviewed this person and this person so yeah. but so you how did you start necessary or how did you start building did you were you into it as a kid or were you, was it you, the cartoons what was it that got you got you into it okay so uh initially the first thing that ever got me into building was uh, gundam build fighters for the actual truth of it because oh, wow. I didn't know that Gunpla was a thing, yeah. or I didn't realize it was until that show came on. Because I liked Gundam already. I'd already seen Gundam Wing, Double, or oh. Gundam, Wing, Gundam Wing, Seed, Seed Destiny, and Double O right. by that time. And then I saw the Gundam Build Fighters thing, and I went, that's what those things I saw in the mall were all those years ago? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, because I didn't know. I mean, mind you, those were the crappy 90s. Uh, sure no grades so it would have been a different Oops. thing so yeah i mean i got started building in end of 2012 or beginning of 2013 i can't remember exactly i yeah. think i bought i think i bought two kits for myself for christmas that year but didn't build them until the new year mm -hmm. um and that was the way i got into building i built models like cars ships boats oh so things. you did do modeling before though okay. I did model ships and boats <laughs> now, when you say well, that, boats, do you mean like uh, like wooden with the the the, the masts no, no, no. and all that stuff? No, not not like that. But, uh, my dad and I built. Um, I don't even remember what it was. It was. I know it was a battleship of some sort. Oh wow! Uh, but you know, I wasn't paying attention. I was a little kid. Sure. So we built we built a, a small ish battleship. Mm -hmm. um, we built a really nice World War II airplane. I think it was a P one thirty eight. I might I might be wrong by that. Right. It was. It was a really nice, cool. I remember Lightning was part of the name. It had a, a twin, twin body. It was a really cool. Yeah. Uh, real cool plane. We built that together. Uh, I built. My uncle got me into building cars. Um, so we started out with Vipers because Viper was my favorite car. Went into Corvettes. I built a really cool custom uh, 32 hot rod. Now, when you say Viper, though, do you mean like the more modern one or like an old school? Isn't the Viper the Corvette? I mean, the uh, Chevrolet or something? Viper is Dodge. Dodge, and it, so you, so this wasn't. I mean, you were a kid, but you must be younger. This is what nineties. Uh, that would have been the late nineties, yeah. Okay, well, so you were okay, mid mid nineties. Oh, so okay. pre teen, pre early teen years. Yes, yeah, so you're a little younger there. than I am. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that much. That not. Well, okay, hold on. What? <laughs> how old are you? Because that'll be. I'm forty three right. years old. I'm significantly younger than you. At this point. Oh, thanks for adding the significant part because that that makes me feel so much better about okay, my age. Okay, I'm I, I'm nine years younger than you. <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah. Damn. Dude, well, I wouldn't have realized they, you know, because <laughs> you, you don't live life like a man of your age, and that's a good thing. No, I, I, I tend not to, which um, I, I, luckily I married somebody who doesn't, didn't really care. And then, uh, and then uh, also, um, it's uh, as I've gotten older and I've gotten a little more frugal with money, and you start to realize, oh, I've got to save some money. I got to have some money in the bank. So it's it's nice to have a hobby that's pretty cheap. This is a pretty cheap hobby. But I mean, I've been a, I've been a little bit of everything. I've been a drummer, or a writer. I've, been, I've always been an artist. So I've always wanted to do creative things and stuff like that. So for me, I had no idea about any of these when I was a kid. I, I remember what I had was the knockoff toys, uh -huh. um, which were, I was talking about on my last stream, and I meant to get some out of their box because I just boxed them up because I had to switch around my shelves recently. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, who are you going to put on? Are those stickers? Or? I'm, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing all the decal work. I l just finished this guy. Um, last night, because you saw the pictures I posted yeah, in yeah. Gundam Club playing around with him. Um, That's the one so, with the balloon feet, right? Yes. Which I actually feet. like quite a bit. I, <laughs> I don't know what, what they're kind of going for there, but I think they're... To me, it reads of an older... It's, it's an older generation. Uh, it's suit, uh, right? kind of, but okay. I mean, in, in, the, uh, in the idea of the Gundam Thunderbolt, it's right after the One Year War ended. Okay. So some of the suit generations and stuff like that are still old-ish. Okay. But mind you that these only exist within the Thunderbolt universe, not within the main UC timeline. Right. So things get a little weird. But the inflatable feet, I think, are because it's meant to be a ground type, but also that in the current thing they're working on, they're working yeah. around a lot of water. Okay. So. See, I thought maybe they were an early type of foot where they were still designing, getting the foot right, and stuff like that, which I thought kind of was cool. Like, it showed a bit of the, of the evolution of the... Of the basic, uh, of the basics of the of the foot, you know what I mean. So it's like, yeah. I I didn't know if they were actually kind of uh, hydrofoil type or something, but I just thought they looked they were just a neat look. Um, yeah, I like I, I, big feet, but I don't want them. I don't <laughs> I don't like the tiny feet either, like uh, the high heels. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think they look bad or just not one of my. I like stuff that's I like kits like this, which is the these are both build fighters kits. These are, <laughs> Uh, this was just an extra one I had, so I've been kit bashing it to. It's gonna. It has uh, the hands from that guy, and I'm gonna put a different head. It's gonna have this big old gun once I get that done because I did get the stick, like uh, Alex in the chat room told me to. I put a stick through there, and I've just got to glue it up. I've got all the parts separate now, so I'm gonna start painting them. Um, so that's so that's the uh, the power gym you were trying to build the other night blindly. Yes, and actually it went pretty well. Um, the one thing that I noticed the, the, without doing, you should try it sometime. It's pretty interesting because you, uh, how much you know natively, you know what I mean? But uh -huh. what's interesting about it is there are little parts that, two things really. A, how intuitive it really is. Even if you didn't know, you could, through would, yeah. trial and error, you would get it. So somebody newbie could get it eventually. But like for example, right here in on the skirts, the uh, poly caps that hold the skirts in, they oh. have to be able to ro that that skirt has got to be able to rotate up like that. And I used the wrong one, and it was buttoned against there, and it wouldn't rotate up. So that it's like as soon as you try to use the model or play with it or whatever, you know it's not right. So it was a really interesting experiment. I, I even I stopped once I basically got it together and made sure everything was cool and realized that this kit came with all these little extras and stuff. So. I'm gonna basically where her guns go on this on the arm here, yeah. oh, in the normal build fighters thing. I'm gonna put it's gonna actually those are gonna be um, uh, uh, laser uh, swords. What are those called? A uh, beam sabers. Okay, like, so you're, you're, like you're wrist. Almost beams. like the the like almost, yeah okay yeah. yeah. I was gonna say more like the beam tantos, but no, you want them to come out of the wrist. Yeah, and then I think I'm gonna put two giant boosters back here, just goofy stuff. But it's anyway, like I was saying, I didn't get into it as a kid at all i built models when i went over to my grandma's house you know she'd say let's go up to the piggly wiggly and i'll buy you a model because we'd stay a week with her and she'd want to keep us entertained you know piggly wiggly where were we originally from um texas i was oklahoma but she was in Te she's in the she was from the town that i am in now which is austin so yes, for us it, yeah it was like a, i know where you're at <laughs> yeah um but yeah piggly wiggly i thought was an original texas thing but anyway whatever the corner store was yeah. um they so we'd go down there and hold on a second. When, uh, did I miss somebody? Oh, I didn't even notice I had a billion whispers. Well, that's weird. 
Um, sorry, Twitch people, if I missed you. Um, anyway, we went there, and she'd buy us little snap-together uh, planes and stuff like that. My grandpa, who was a pilot in Korea, War, Korea, Korea, a little bit in World War II, he flew some of the last of the old prop planes, you know, he'd fly them in. Um, he had models in his cabinet, but he also had beers in his mini fridge, and he would keep candy bars in his <laughs> mini fridge, and he kept candy bars in his mini fridge, so when the kids would visit, he'd say, hey, go back there and get me a beer, and you can get yourself a candy bar. So we were like, he would trick us into going back and to his back to his study and grabbing them one. It was really funny. Um, but anyway, so I didn't get into any of them. I remember them, but I remember the knockoff toys, like the... Uh, we were talking about it last week, the Zob Bungles, the weird things that I just, I had no idea what they were. They didn't yeah. quite transform. Maybe they did. And yeah. now that I've invested in them, yeah. what's that? The ones you had definitely didn't, but yeah. Yeah, and the ones that, They're... after I investigated, there were some that did like a janky kind of uh, transformation, but not a ton. And so I was always into weird like kits. So if I would have had even the 90s, well, see, I was, I was you know, 19 and stuff in the 90s. I was out of the house by 17, you know. So, but when I was a kid in the 80s, they probably weren't the best kits. But even if, even then, if I would have found them, it would have been fantastic. Um, so I, I'm like you. I've always kind of had models and stuff in my life in some way, but always a love for, you know, Voltron. And I wasn't a, I wasn't a Power like Rangers Texas, kid. Yeah. Yeah, what's that? It, you were too old for Power Rangers. Yeah, I didn't get it. Well, and I didn't. I don't. I still am not a huge fan of anime. Um, I watched uh, uh, Spirited Away last night because that's more than an anime. That's just an incredible movie. So I watched yeah. that again. But you know, and stuff like that. But I've never really well, been into it. So. Well, Studio Ghibli versus normal anime. You know, different world. It's it's a work of art. It's like Disney. You know, it's a it's an animated movie, but it's on a, on a different kind of tier. Uh, you have a surprise. Your girlfriend just ordered the Mega Size Unicorn. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> That's oh, all the chat. Oh, okay. He ordered the Mega Size Unicorn for. Wait, so, Alex, so we... did you order it for your girlfriend, or are you saying she will be surprised because you went and ordered it out from under her? Unbeknownst. Yeah, because it, it were. sounds like you're saying that you also have uh, you also have more room in your suitcase now, is what I'm hearing too. And this tends to happen if you let your girlfriend slash wife slash boyfriend or oh, okay. whatever. Okay, yeah. I see what he's saying. Yeah, he he's saying ordered she ordered it for him. He ordered it for him so he doesn't have to bring it back. Awesome. I today I, I was just during work because I work out of my house and occasionally I can reach over and play with one of these models. I was like, I'm gonna I gotta finish him. I gotta put his backpack on. Look at that. It's already Oops. on there. Hey Bo, look at Whoa. this. Okay, I gotta see. So if you can see this little tiny number five right here, when eventually the camera catches up for myself. That goes on the back end of the rifle, like right there. Jeez. I don't know. I don't know if it's a display. No, it's actually it's just a warning. Like I don't know how good it's coming across, guys. I know my webcam works when it wants to, despite the focus, lighting changing, whatever. Yeah, I auto focus. I just grab, I focus it by hand now. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm doing something like this where I don't have to, but if I do like this, I, I got to get the light, of course, right. I have yeah. it pulled up and I can go shh, and zoom in, like you know, focus like that. You can zoom in. It, it's stuff. it's funny because this camera is actually really good. It just it it's when it wants to work properly. It's yeah. Nice. Oh, I know that oh, feeling. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me go to. No, you're fine. Though. I'm enjoying just watching you putting those on because, man, those are the most. I'm not a huge. Uh, I'm not into some of the details that typically you would see, like um, de uh, warning stickers and guns. I'm not a big gun fan. This big gun for me was a total change. I like really almost a kit with no weapons at all on it and almost nothing on it, I'm finding. But yeah. I, I like uh, when some of them have warning stickers all over them, like they're, you know, like they're really high end models and like they're, you know, they're brand new out of the factory. I think it's a little strange because it's a, it's a suit. Um, it's not a tank necessarily. I, I don't know. It's just different. Like the leg is not, shouldn't have the same warnings as like the guns would, right? Because a tank doesn't have warnings on its treads. I mean, I guess it does, but they have the watch your step warnings. But yeah, I guess that. I, I get. I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, only, the only thing I think is like the main reason for all the warnings is yeah. because so many things are moving, and you got to think how small. Uh, people are being. And it's probably a whole lot of don't step here is realistic. Yeah. Step are. here at your own risk. Yeah. You're gonna but fall you off. Get, yeah. But then you get around the the thrusters and things like that and of course it's like a blast area you're just being careful not to be near there or it's going to be for the hot. maintenance too exactly alex for the maintenance okay so you were watching build fighters was, was that the first season yes the first season the your the uh you already say 
uh, season. Which yeah. I, I saw that one second, and I was kind of sad because the first one, I don't think it's so much better. I just think it's better. I, this, this, the second one is good still. I like I'm but a fan of Try, but people are have been really crapping on it in the last. You know, like, man, it sucks. It's so much like Dragon no, Ball Z. No. I'm like, first of all, why are you saying that like it's a bad thing? <laughs> well, I've never, like, I've never really even seen Dragon Ball Z, but I'm well. I mean, so I mean, fanatic, but you went fanatic. into it blind. You, 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 because yeah, you even said you're not really familiar with a ton of Gundam series. Oh no, you, you got you got into Gunpla in and of itself without really knowing anything about Gundam series. Sure, yeah. Okay. So, as I remember you posting and asking, so, okay, what's the difference between the two different Build Fighter series? Which one should I watch first? And I think I was one of the only people <laughs> saying that Try isn't terrible. I love Try. You know? I, I thought Try was great, but people have to learn to separate it when it comes down to it. You know, it's it's in I, the same universe, but yeah. it's not the same thing happening. Plus, you've got seven or eight years of advancement in technology yeah. and everything else so things will be a little bit different guys alex next time i'll have to get you in here because then we will be on a triple date a build date but i don't know if you guys have husbands wives whatever significant others whatever but they'd be like uh, oh look they're in there on a play date Trim, triple mandate um, but yeah i you know i think the first one might be a little bit um I don't want to say realistic, but it might feel a little more grounded or something. I, I don't know. It's a little bit more. By the second one, it was so over the top. So maybe yeah. that's maybe that's the difference. I, I, I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, oh, oh, you know. yeah, over the top would be a way to put it for sure. Look, these are the, think... these are the fists from. These are both the same kit's fists. So I'm I'm using the the burning Gundam's fists on this here. I love his yeah. expressive hand here. Yeah, but you got the you got the karate chop hands cause Yeah, I didn't know what to do with that. What do you, I mean? You can make a Nazi salute, but I'm not in no way I'm going to do that. I mean, if you could cut the pinky down, you can make it look like a Boy Scout salute, but hell no, there's no way I'm going to do that. So I guess he's just karate chopping, right? Yes. Yeah. Or actually, technically, he's in his uh, prep stance. He's got his hand up and he's waiting. He's on guard. Could he be doing that thing, like blocking? That too. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice that. Okay. So a 22, but uh, yeah, so I mean, so y you you had more experience with me, but you, it sounds like you were a little, you were older like me. You're grown up, plenty by the time you realized. And for me, it's it's what I enjoy about it is a it's a cheap hobby, but also b excuse me, it wraps up all of the things, a lot of the things I should say that I've always been good at, which is uh, art, um, not writing because I'm not necessarily writing, but I am going to start. I wanted to create an actual kind of like a uh, there's somebody in one of our groups that actually has a whole little pocket universe he's created with like enemies and good guys and bad guys. It's really pretty cool. Um, so I, th I thought it'd be fun to do that, like build a certain suit. I'm going to probably go with a gun cannon or customize one because that's my favorite suit so far. And, you know, like do something like that. But it it's fun because it's you can kind of do it at any time. Like you could just sit here and build one while you're hanging out. You could you could bring a kit with you on vacation and you know play with it on the beach and just. It's a really basic hobby, kind of like art. You know, you can don't have don't need much for it, or you can go hog wild. Now, do you do all the air spray and all that stuff? I can't remember. Um, I don't do. Uh, I don't. I don't have a um, an airbrush, but I do yeah. paint occasionally. Um, you've seen probably a couple of my. Uh... My customs that I post, my, I post and paint occasionally. The last one I did was my uh, custom ball. Yeah, I remember that. Now, do, are you wanting to get into airbrushing all that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I want to, uh, cause I'm always one to up my game. I'm sorry if you're if you're sitting still, you're not getting any better. You know. Yeah. I mean, and one problem is a lot of builders, and it's, I honestly, I say it's a problem. Honestly, there's nothing really wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. They they stay in the same boat forever. They, they, okay, I'm going to be a straight builder. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe I'll pan a line every now and then. Mm -hmm. so, and, but that's one thing at least I like to do with my channel because I almost never just do a straight build. Yeah. Everything I do either has some minor details or at least pan lining and use of stickers, something like that. Yeah, because I want, sure. I want to show people that, okay, you can do this, but it doesn't take a ton of effort. And I'm just looking at my thing and it will not focus. Uh, on it, okay, you know what's funny? Just uh, total side note. My camera right now is doing the thing it usually does at the end of my live streams when it just kind of gives up. It's like, oh, I don't, really, <laughs> don't want to focus. Uh, like, no, technology. It, it no, sense. but I know what you mean. I, I do that myself, but what, I tend, what I've learned to do as I've gotten older, when I was a kid, I was like, I'm, I'm a poet now, and I'm going to be a poet. Or I'm going to... 
I'm gonna be a, I'm writing novels or what you know whatever it is I used to do uh-huh. that and you know I, for years I was just a drummer and stuff like I haven't played the drums in like four years but it's that kind of that idea of you know where you're kind of settled one thing but now what I do is I just tell myself look you're enjoying it that one way do it that one way as long as you enjoy it if you want to try something else later go for it and I just let it kind of see where it goes with this though I've I finally have I guess maybe my energy starting to wane a bit I'm so hyper all the time but finally it's kind of slowing down that I can enjoy one thing at a time kind of without my brain going nuts and I think maybe that's what's happening now with this is I'm I'm able to take one and finish it I mean I've got four projects technically right now I've got a, how many, oh, this is a question i got to ask everybody. I think, Alex, I asked you and you had 63. On his backlog. On his backlog. What is yours? And this is not a, uh, this is a, this is, if there is one measurement that this has, it's a measurement of madness. Yes, it really is. Um, my current backlog, um, the last time I counted, and I built probably three or four since I counted. Yeah. And I've bought like seven since <laughs> then. Uh, so realistically, I think I'm close to 40. If I had to guess, that's where I'm you at. You realize anything over five, anything over five, this is, the, this is the general rule. Anything over five in your backlog is a collection. It's not a backlog. Well, <laughs> the, w- the way I look at it, it's not a part of the collection until it's built. You think so? Okay. And, until then, it's collection pending. <laughs> well, I've I've been a collector of things for most of my life. Oh, really? Okay, prior to uh, because I collected a lot of my viewers will know this. Obviously, none of my viewers are here watching this. Um, my viewers know that I've collected Power Rangers toys, wow. yeah, uh, Hot Wheels stuff like that. Ooh, Hot Wheels, since, nice. I, since I was a kid. But I got rid of the Hot Wheels early on. But my Power Rangers toys up until this year specifically, I've had all of my original ones in the box, everything. Damn. Um. But prior to getting into Gunpla, because I have, I have that weird, not, not necessarily obsessive, but the thing when you get into a new hobby yeah. and you just dive. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was into, I guess technically I'm still in it, I just don't collect anything. Uh, craft beer. Oh. <laughs> so, honestly, I was massively deep in the craft beer community for many years. Oh, really? Wow. And so not my, just a fan, like you were, you were there. Yeah, no, I was a part of it. I mean, I, I worked at a brewery for a short time. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm actually still decent friends with uh, one of the local breweries here. Damn. Uh, now where is this? Uh, if been, you don't mind me asking, is it... I'm in I'm in Conroe, just north of Houston. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's why we've met before. So we're not too far from. Oh, okay. Well, that and I'm one of the few people who will make the trek to another city to hang out. Well, and it sounds like you're. It's a. It's a personality type. You're into. You like to get into something. Yeah. And exactly. and Gundams and, and model kits are perfect for that because you can do as little as much as you want because you can always say yeah, I'm thinking about it or I'm you know there's no real rush unless you put a deadline on yourself you know. Um, but, so yeah. But, what made it grow was the sense of community. So I was already in it. I'd already built a few master grades. Hadn't even touched high grades yet. Yeah. And then um, actually my first time ever coming up to Austin was on a Saturday right after I'd finished work. And I beelined. I didn't even change or nothing. I beelined <laughs> to Austin. Um, 290 was a terrible mess. They were in the uh, middle of uh, repaving all of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And then because I remember it was at, the, at our president's actual apartment they were actually going to have a pool party and everything like that included and do you uh, mean the president of your of your beer club no the gundam club oh uh, not, not beer no but but that's how i knew my way around Austin. oh okay okay was, was because of the beer no sorry i was talking about the first time i met the uh, texas gundam club. Ah. so but but either way that sense of community yeah. and that gen- the general um combined knowledge and passion sure sells a thing especially once you get yeah. into the collecting aspect of it and you realize that there are other people out there who are clearly as crazy sure. as you. that makes it easier although there are a few people in our club who are significantly crazier than yeah than others when that... it comes to the collecting aspect however the way i look at it and it's, it's kind of the same way i had to look at it with beer um i will get to it one day so i have to buy it now <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not too big on that with Gundam because I've noticed that it, um, I've noticed that it, the prices, the kits don't sell out necessarily, so the prices just continue to go down. 
So, like, I really want... Uh, oh, by the way, chat room, if you have any questions for the new viewers, just holler, we're building... Uh, these are actual robots, giant robots. You just have to add water, and they get really big. It, it's... It's uh, it's just Alex. There's there's never anybody new. Yeah, but uh, you know, if you um, is that for like I really want the hyper Gianco. It's gonna come out in September. I want to yeah. get that. I want to get her Poochie guy, whatever they're called, the little cutesy beard one with her face uh -huh. in it. The, and the, then, the char guy. Yeah, then I'm gonna have my customized uh, her her suit from Build Fighters, and then I'm gonna build a straight build of her suit with panel. You know, make it look nice, but seam line and all that. But build Are you just about the. Uh, the Arg Yarg, the Arg Yarg, yeah. Yeah, the one that she uses, but she has that other one, the Gancelot in the new. In yeah, that, yeah. The Gancelot's the new one in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to get those three or whatever kits, but you know, I'm not in a huge hurry because I know that they're just going to stick around and, and and will eventually just drop in price or or or, or well, level out, you know. So I'm not too worried about it, but. Well, the hard part, at least with waiting. Is that you're gonna miss the initial hype run? So if you don't grab it quick, yeah, you might not get it for another couple months. That's that's very true. Now you're gonna make me regret this. <laughs> but here's the other problem. At least with her initial suit, the Argyak, yeah, yeah, um, that one is harder and harder to find because it's so good in and of itself oh, okay. that it, it's not a shelf turd. It's it's gonna get pulled like quick. Oh. People don't wait. So. Honestly, if you want to get that one, yeah. I'd say go ahead and get that one and sit on it for a little bit until you get the other ones. And then go ahead and do a run of all of them together. That's what oh, I would, okay. Because that's what I had to do with a few of these because um, I knew they were going to sell out quick. So I've been pre-ordering again. Normally, I'm, I'm doing what you would do. So, but you're, getting into kind of the, you're also getting into the aspect, the, the, build, the collection aspect of that I haven't really educated myself on as much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's something that I think that once I kind of – if I was to do more of that, I would probably be a little more knowledgeable about which kid is going to... Like, there's some that I know would be really hard to get, and I would I would probably never hesitate. But the more I get into kit bashing and, and customizing, what's great about that is you could get three yeah. cheap kits and, and turn it into an incredible work of art, hopefully. Exactly. But, or no, you, I know what you mean, though. It's a, the collectible aspect of it, you know. Or or you do what I do for a kit bath. You very you know, an, an, an innumerable amount of uh, mid-range price kits and throw them all together. That's hey, what I'm current. I'm working it. on a very big uh, kit bash right now, and the initial investment was about ninety dollars, and it was all HG kits. Now, are these? The, um, what? I, you, correct me if I'm wrong, because one of the first things I thought would be cool to build. Not first, actually. I thought about this pretty recently. I guess was like. To take some kits and try to make them almost Voltron like, like see if you could assemble. Oh, do a combiner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I've had the same thought. I want to do it with uh, wing kits. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Now, so wait, you're not doing it. This this one you're working on is not a combiner then. No, no, this one is not. No, and uh, and the the kit bash I'm working on is not a combiner. Does it have but four it, legs? It has many legs. I'm oh wondering. really? Okay. See, I was. Wondering. I'm trying not to spoil it in yeah, case I, I actually to, manage. Uh, yeah. In case I get this done for any particular See, contest, so I'm picturing like, like that, like four legs. I'll 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 shoot you a, I'll shoot you a picture in our in our chat later. Yeah, yeah. So because there's a few more people who know about it now that I've made more progress on it recently, but I don't I don't like it to be public knowledge just yet. Sure. So percentage is, wise, is, where are we at with it? You think? Uh, build build wise, it's about fifty. Oh really? Okay, that's not bad. And but this, this, no, what's bad is when you see it. Uh, to realize how much further I have to go, considering how far I've gotten. Now, are you doing a full, uh, like, are you going to try to custom paint and all that, or are you doing... Oh, yeah, it's oh, going to really? be everything. However, I like to build, um, when it comes to kit bashes, yeah. I like I like to build them as though, if, if possible, without extra colors and stuff like that. Like, So, if I'm kit bashing it, and if it don't get around to painting it for a while, I still want it to look okay while it's sitting. Right, right. Um, like I know I've got, mean. like I've got one that I built either early this year or end of last year. It's mm -hmm. a custom uh, Barbatos, and I haven't painted it yet. But I, I don't mind the way it looks because at least I got the color scheme down. Right, it's built. Yeah, so it actually doesn't look terrible. Yeah, you've got to uh, you've got to find a mental balance. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, with builds too, because if you are. Uh, if you ever stress yourself about it, it's gonna it's gonna bite you in the butt. I think is a good way to put it. Because for me, I found that 
I keep about four little projects, but technically, like this guy is not a pro. This was a leftover kit. I used the arms. I, you know, salvaged the arms from it, and so I just built it as a kit and threw on some other stuff. This is just a straight build, so stuff like that doesn't really count. Hey, hey, I'm gonna take a quick break, uh, show you real quick, because my stream is doing that thing again where it drops frames. What is it? And uh, yeah, that might have been my fault. No, no, it's not you. It's been happening for some reason. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna stop the stream and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, take All right. a break, guys. All right, hang in. I have. If I'm, I need to check, I need to check um, with some forums and some other threads and stuff like that and see what might be happening there because I am not sure. It seems to be um, seems to be something with OBS. I've never had the problem with Twitch before. I mean, I've dropped frames, but it'll literally just. You'll literally uh, just stop. I don't know what's happening. Our internet's kind of crap here, though, for some reason. When it happened to me, it was because my internet was crap, but I also noticed that depending on what I was running, yeah, uh, it was sucking down packets. Um, hmm. So I, I did notice I had this problem with OBS because it would say that my stream... Actually, it might not have been OBS because I stream directly to YouTube, not Twitch. Right. Uh, it would say that my output was fine from OBS. Mm-hmm. But the signal was not great getting to YouTube. So that's when I figured out that I was having issues with my modem directly. So I went and replaced uh, the modem. I and, I, yeah. and I haven't dropped. Yeah, I haven't dropped since. But, you but, know, we, we have AT&T, and there was the only choice here. Unless when we first moved in, and that's all we had. Unless, yeah. we, decide, unless we could have waited like a month. So I'm going to probably just eventually switch it. It doesn't seem to happen, but maybe once a stream, though. But, man, that's annoying. Um, yeah. It's not a big deal. You just start and stop again. It's just that now you have to save two things and you have to blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, what were we talking about? I can't remember. Uh, kit bashing. Kit bashing. What are you doing, Lulu? And, you and doing, and doing uh... I might be making noise in the other room. I just oh, that's fine. Just close your door or whatever. Um, yeah, if you're working on this giant one, I want to see it. Um, and then we can we should battle. We should take it to the lo the closest. Um, what what's the company? Plasky part Plasky part all. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll find a Gundam base and we'll go battle. Oh my uh, god, my guns I, are gonna high five. No 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 offense, uh, mine would win. Oh, the, your giant transformer. I'm I'm totally good. They're gonna dude, be in even high even even my even my awesome grays would be awesome. Oh, I see you're you're high fiving there, except. Yeah. Except uh, you're burning and doing that thing like somebody who doesn't know how to high five, like just sort of putting their hand up flat. Like, is this how I do it? Hello, is this a high five, human? And this one, it's like mid. Look, I can even make him like he's running to. That's another thing I, is so funny about these things is, um, I start. I've I've always had an Instagram and some other stuff. I've always been. I've been on uh, in the internet forever. I, I've actually did did some of the first live streaming in 2007, if you can believe it. Back or 2008, back with the. Um, the actual site called Livestream <laughs> back then, and Ustream. Um, so I've been doing it for a while, but I started with Instagram. I started enjoying it because I was like, man, I should take Gundams because there's, it's so... Oh, Google Fiber, don't even make me feel horrible. Uh, it's, <laughs> it, it is actually coming here, and the thing is, is, is AT&T is... It's just... I mean, their phone service is great. I love... And, you know, I could probably use my phone as a hotspot and probably get a better connection in some yep, cases you would burn out your data so fast I, I would i mean i get six gigs a month that i don't even use but still that would burn through it but yeah i get i get five gigs and yeah. I, I did it the once like during a live stream when my modem died oh you used I, it no but here's the thing <laughs> because i couldn't stop i couldn't get on the internet to actually physically stop the live stream on youtube oh <laughs> Like, I had stopped streaming from OBS, but I could not stop the actual live stream. I was like, oh, crap, it's just going to keep going. But I could keep popping in and out of it. Yeah. That's what was funny. Even though, the, it's like, as long as I had the uh, the stream key for, you know, talking yeah. talking technical here, yeah. uh, as long as the stream key was still live, I could keep popping in and out of it whenever the signal uh, strength got strong enough. But I legitimately had to sign in first time ever on my hotspot, try to figure out why my computer couldn't find it once wow. it found it then i got in 30 minutes later uh, just so i could stop the freaking live stream i mean i think that i i'm, I'm still amazed at you know the the fact that i uh, the fact that i am able to do what i do because when i was a kid i would have never thought we would have had the technologies we have now and in 10 years they'll be primitive but still you come on man america should have better internet all over it's just ridiculous but well anyway well the problem is the, the <laughs> oh. 
if we get into the politics of it, the whole net neutrality problem. Um, yeah, I'd rather not get into where, the politics of it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's that's the whole problem. There's no reason that you shouldn't have internet where you're at. There's no reason it should cost an arm yeah. and a leg yeah. to get decent bandwidth. It's there, you know. But we also, you know, they're very, very slow about building up the infrastructure sure. or at least telling us that the infrastructure is finally in existence. But, yeah, everybody should have Google Fiber, but, you know, it is what well, it is. Well, uh, here I am in Austin. It's, it's, I'm right on the outskirts, so it's coming here. Um, yep. And AT&T has their fiber kind of thing, but they've got a. It's going to take twelve hundred years before they. And it, man, it'll go down twice we'll a Gundam. month. We'll have yeah. actual Gundam. We'll have actual Gundam with better connections. I'll, I'm going to go out in my Gundam to see if I can get a connection. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I can directly from my cockpit. I, I love kit bashing. What I what I'm finding the more I do it is it is I'm feeling similar 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 similar. To how I feel when I did when I've always done art when I've been a writer and uh, even as a drummer, as I've liked what I've liked and I really don't like what I like and I like very minimal stuff. So I'm finding that I'm a super I'm becoming a really super fan oh, of basic kits with very little to them, but but I love builds that are done really well. I'm what, not what a that streamline. What's that? Sim simple but effective. Well, you know, I picture that if. If I was in the Gundam Army or whatever they, you know, whatever they're called, uh, the Gundam Pilot Army thing, I probably wouldn't be good. I'm, I'm never great, good enough at anything in life to where I'm like the best in the world. There's always somebody who's more obsessed. Is it? That's fine. But I'm, I'm gonna be work. I'm gonna work good on a team. So I like like the grunt suits. I like the back. I, I love the sniper in um MS MO8. Man, I'm always saying that wrong. M MS08. I, the sniper stuff was so good. At the beginning, no, it was actually near the end where they're fighting the giant thing, and the guy is just, he's he's actually sniping. They ha hurry up, get to a sniper, and the pilot runs and gets in the sniper, and he's he's kneeled down, and he's pew, shooting, you know. And there's a a little human with a coolant hose into the sniper gun, you know, making sure it stays cold or you know cool. And yeah, I just, yeah. little details like that were so fun. So I always picture myself as like some little grunt dude, you know, doing whatever. Um, and I kind of like the kits that are like that, but I'm starting to find I'm really enjoying kits that don't quite look, look like this burning Gundam where it's that human or kind of moldable or posable, oh. but stocky, maybe, you know what I'm saying? So my, my taste has changed as I started to build them. Are you still, what's your, well, here's, here's a good question. What is your favorite, if you, because Saturday I'm doing my top five favorite kits I've ever done. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, I've built probably f only 40 so far, but I have 70. So 30 of those I've, I've got on my shelf, and I pull one off, I paint it, and customize it, and put it on the completed shelf. So I'm going to do my top five of those favorites. Of yours, what do you think is your what are you, one of your favorites, what favorite kits? Oh, hey, my focus finally worked for once. Oh, um, uh, I know what it is. It's my light is a problem. Um, geez, let me see. Uh top master grade probably just for the build quality itself yeah would be the gundam age one uh it's just massively posable gundam age Some, one yeah the gundam age one i'm gonna have to look that up uh, normal yeah uh yeah look all these things up while you're at it um you also need to bring up my uh facebook page so yeah. that you can snag pictures of my builds to throw up on the screen for people gundam age hold on i want a gundam age one a Gundam, Gundam Age number one, or spelled out? It's one? just Age one, Age one normal. Yeah, so Gundam Age, that's the series, but the, the, it's actually called the Age one. Yeah, I know the Age series, but I'm not too familiar with the kit. Oh, that's a cool looking kit. Wow, dude, it doesn't. It for a Master Grade, it doesn't even have a full inner frame, and it is massively posable. Um, and it's from like 2012, I believe it is. Yeah, and it's just such a good kit like do i fell you, in love with it when i got it where are your where are your photos going to be more on, uh, in, the, in the actual uh group uh go no go to uh the shoki reviews facebook not my facebook right right, right. Like okay, okay. Uh, nope wrong one yeah because uh, if you go into my photos with all my builds and stuff like that you'll see my instagram post. i was like you've built real super realistic people <laughs> yeah, that's that good. Yeah, they're hyper realistic. Ha, did you have you seen the the? It's not a thing that's like new or nothing, but the, some of the like the um, figure artists and stuff from Korea and Japan. I've I've been tweet, tweet, uh, tweeting and sharing some on on uh, Twitter. I mean, 
they look like little severed heads. They're so realistic looking. It's it's absolutely freaky. Um, yeah. So the Gundam Age One. Okay, here's your Shoki reviews. Yeah, I'm just saying go in there so you can actually see. Some Wait, what is the what is? Oh, <laughs> your home picture. I didn't even know that. What's um, that? I didn't even like that page yet. Um, is it's like Wally being held up by? Yeah, that's that's Wally being held up by the Soul of Jagokin Megazord. Okay, it, with, a, with just a smaller version of the photo, it looks like Wally's head is, you know, they're uh-huh. making up the gun. That's awesome. It's called okay. perspective. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, Shoki, nowhere? Shoki knows how to photograph. Shoki reviews, uh, and then here's your videos. I've seen all these. Yeah. And guys, uh, anybody who's actually listening or in the chat or whatever. Because um, yeah, I put this on YouTube out, later. That's where I have yeah. more. Yeah. So uh, check out uh, any of my Shoki Reviews stuff. It's uh, facebook.com slash Shoki Reviews if you want to go there. If you find me on YouTube, just search Shoki Reviews. If you want to find me on Twitter oh, or God. Instagram, I believe it's the Shoki01. I know it is on, on Instagram. I post pictures yeah. all the time, usually either of what I've just built or something else. Um, or teasers, usually. Ooh, like what's this my, one? I don't know because I can't see it. I'm gonna, Bring it up on the screen. Yeah, Bring it up on the screen, Bo. Uh, let's just save it because I don't want to get all your all our private Facebook stuff. Let me just put it on the desktop. And then what's cool is I'll save that image and later I'll be like, look what I built and I'll take credit for it. Oh, oh that's going to be so awesome. Well, <laughs> I'll, you, you'll be able to, as soon as you see it, you'll be like, oh, yeah. Hold on. Weird. Yeah, so that's what I said. See, you should have gone and gone through all my stuff. Yeah, well, I should have done a lot in life. Should've. Actually, this week alone, I've actually had people asking me the uh, my main header or whatever for uh, my page, and they wanted to know what that kit was. My uh, custom grays. I okay. like this. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the hazel. I just built that. Oh, really? So that's the that's the TR one hazel wow. custom. Look at that ridiculous. And thing. okay, so <laughs> that that and actually that particular photo you're looking at, I'm using a. Uh, a differential focus so it's actually focused individually on the head and the rifle and oh. then it's comp- and, it, and it composites it together so you get the same sharpness <gasps> regardless wow i didn't even notice that that's awesome yeah but yeah, i also have other yeah it's weird it's it, like it you, the, the, now that i know that it's kind of weird like wait one would be out of focus yeah actually i have pictures of that one where the head is in focus and one where the gun is in focus there's a lot more on my instagram i uh, uh, but I didn't share all of them right. directly to my Facebook. I also have a ton on my phone also. Okay, so let's okay. So, uh, so that's a good kit. Yeah, that was actually really fun. I mean, that is an old HG, dude. That thing is from 2000. That's an HG. It looks looks master level to me. I, that's what another person yeah. said. It's like, dude, that looks like a master grade. But and you I'm know, like, maybe it is it's your panel line and your um and your uh, uh detail. D, 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 decals and stuff like that 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 give it that kick. Exactly. Yeah. That's, you know, that's and that that master grade doesn't come out until October, and it's also oh. a a, a uh, premium Bandai kit, as it were, okay. that a lot of people are not happy about. I've myself. never once ordered a, a P Bandai. Is that a process, or is it just more expensive, really? It's more expensive, but it can be a process depending on where you're getting it from. Okay. Because you have the individuals who are in Hong Kong and all those places who will get them. Yeah. At at regular cost, and then they'll they'll sell them to you only at a, a slight increase. Problem is when you're buying them over here, which technically becomes almost a secondary market right the price is nearly double what it should be right right so, yeah yeah i've heard that yeah uh master grade monday i just reviewed the p bandai banshee norn and its original price is 6600 yen which right. is 70 dollars yeah. thereabouts it was 138 dollars oh wow so that was a p bandai that was a p bandai okay. and i bought two of those <laughs> at the same time so very expensive. Yeah, because you do. A, you're doing the Master Grade Monday. You've been doing that for a long time. Uh, so, I started. Right? I, I started Master Grade Monday specifically um, near the end of last year. Okay. Uh, I hadn't planned it out from the beginning. I was just doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday were my Gunplay reviews, and then in between I do my quickies um, of whatever nerdy stuff I've got. Um, but then I'm like, you know what? I need to do a theme of some sort. After yeah. I did, after I did my Double October. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I love that, and I can't pull it off again unless I buy every double O kit I don't have. Yeah, that's the only way I can pull it off again this year. Mr. Peter, uh, are you saying the the real quick? Are you saying the um, P Bandai, even if you bought them in person, yes. are still overpriced? They're 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 yeah, they're just ridiculously overpriced. I mean, uh, I see uh, what's his name, not to change the subject real quick, but I see what's his name always saying, oh, you know, it's just a color swap; you can just paint it yourself. 
But yeah. I, I know more builders who don't have either the time or the money or the room to, to have a full paint set up. You know, yeah. so for me, if I want to do any type of color change, I'm going to find kit, kits of a similar color, build like two white kits like that. I might swap and do some stuff. Or I might just live with the color it is. You know, I'm not exactly. that worried about it. So. That's, that's the other thing, yeah. But see, like with the Banshee Norn, for instance, it's no different color than the standard Banshee, but it comes with all new equipment, uh, new decals you can only get. Usually with P-Bandai's, they're almost exclusively water slides. Mm. Sometimes they come with things that you just flat out won't get. I like water slides. I have no problem with water slides. I'm, I'm getting better at them. I yeah. haven't done a whole lot on Gundam kits. I've been doing them on the Star Wars kits recently. Um, oh, Star Wars, you haven't done any of those. I want to. Uh, speaking of Star Wars kit, Alex said earlier that he was getting the PG... PG uh, Falcon, yes. Now, here's, here's my question. Are they... I thought PG, meaning perfect grade, right, was reserved yes. for Bandai's. I mean, for it Gundam is Bandai. stuff. I mean, for Gundam no, no. stuff. Yeah, but it's Bandai in general. They still have perfect grade other kits as well. It just is a representation of like the. Yes, okay. it is. It is the level. Well, because they have their quote unquote HG line, right. which actually is HG scale. So it is still like the this one size one, and this kind of one one forty fourth. Yeah. Yeah. So they have their one one forty fourth. They have their one two seventy two, and that's their technical per perfect grade size is the one to seventy two. Right. However. They have a one to one forty fourth Falcon right now, which is not bad. But it's also it's the, episode, be, it's the episode seven Falcon, so it's not huge, but uh, you could technically scale it directly to your high grade uh, Gumpla as well. Hmm. They also have the, and a lot of people have done this. I haven't done it yet, but I want to. It's the one to one forty fourth Adat from Star Wars. Yeah, I saw somebody so, in uh, Boom Hut talking about that. I think. Yeah. And they're huge. Like Are you they? really don't. You don't think about how big they truly are until you see them scale to something you know the size of, like a Gundam. You know how big a Gundam should be, and you see an AT-AT that is massive compared to that, and you're like, whoa, you know. Yeah. But the but the PG Falcon is amazing. I'm getting one. It's going to cost an arm and a leg, but I'm getting one. Uh, what minimum what price makes it PG? The molds and stuff, or just is it? P it is okay. Bandai themselves, and th here's a little backstory for guys you don't know. Okay, so Bandai made the model kits that they built the Falcon from way back in the 70s when they first did Star Wars. Oh, so, wow! Because they they would make some of their own stuff, but other than that, they had to kit bash. So they were buying tanks, planes, whatever they could get a hold of. Right. And they yeah, were yeah, building yeah. all of these props, all these all these original props from model kits. So Bandai said, okay, so now here we are forty years on into Star Wars. They actually went to the archives <laughs> where the the original Falcon still exists, took three D scans wow. and thousands of high res pictures and mind you, the original Falcon, the one they're talking about, is massive. It's bigger than your table, you know. It's, it's something they can. And they still have it with. somewhere, right? I'm it sure still it's... exists. Oh yeah, it's wow! Filmmark. Holy shit! Um, and of course, they're using uh, screen caps and stuff like that from the movie, so they know colors, they know damage, stuff like that. Because this Falcon comes with battle damage, like it has like uh, blaster shots on the hull that are actually gonna, you know. Yeah, I was gonna, gonna say, what's the detailing like on it? Like it's ridiculous, okay. dude. I mean. Um, but there's you're another... still painting it, right? You can or you don't have to. It doesn't even matter. You can put it together and it's going to look absolutely perfect. It even has LEDs. So the uh, the thrusters wow. light up, the cockpit lights up, the cannon. Well, the cannons themselves don't light up, but the uh, the areas where that so they sit in. like a perfect light. grade Gundam then, pretty much. Like, exactly. It's really a beautiful thing, yeah. It's going to be absolutely beautiful and wow. it's big. like. If you look up, uh, pull up on YouTube whenever mm -hmm. you get a chance to do it now. Don't kill the bandwidth. Yeah. Look up, look up. Uh, if you ever look at Tested. Dot yeah, com. Yeah, I know Tested. Yeah. Okay, they were at San Diego Comic Con. Mm -hmm. They had the. They went to the the Bluefin booth and they had the perfect grade Falcon. They went on, to the Bluefin booth. But, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, they're into Gundam kits. They got into yeah. Gundam kits uh, last year. Because um, they like building other things, but they didn't know the gunplay existed, and now they're going crazy with it. Yeah, I was However, like, you guys need to have... be doing Gundam and stuff. And they, somebody, I think, sent them one. Yes, they, they did. Yeah, uh, they got on a on a mailbag at their old office. Um, but the funny thing is, wow. and I caught this. I was watching one of the things they were interviewing, or they weren't interviewing, but they were talking to uh, uh, Frankie Bolito. They were in his shop. Yeah. And they were showing, and he was showing how to mold something or paint something. I can't remember exactly what he was showing, but model like prop making. Sure. 
And in the background, on the shelf, is the Master Grade Sinanji Stein. And I'm like, build it on camera. We want to see what a true if prop maker can anything. do with a Gundam. Well, yeah. they were doing they were doing Lego builds and stuff a lot, you know? Yeah. So I it thought, would... you guys need to do... I thought they did a Gundam build one time. They, If they did it, they have not done it on YouTube. Oh they may God. have done it. How did they miss that there. video? Holy shit. So that's the 172 behind them, right? In that video? Yes. Oh, and then okay. they got some close shots. I'm trying to finagle my camera a little bit. Whoa, that nearly fell over. Okay, maybe I'll just get like stupid close. Well, I could I could probably capture it here. I just don't know what I, uh, I've got a lot going on. One uh, thing is, I also don't know what I'm uh, I'm streaming on here. I'm, yes, I'm trying yeah. to fix my camera. To focus. <laughs> yeah, get like stupid close. Maybe it'll get better. Here we go. Yeah, apologies, guys. I'm in my normal workstation where I live stream. There's more light. In here, I have light directed onto my set, which is what I'm working on. Wow. But it's a softer light, and my my yeah. normal review. Dude, what camera. do you think the top camera is too? The top comment on that video of the perfect grade. All I the top comment is from somebody saying, "All I keep staring at is that Gundam in the background." What is he? Yeah. Oh, he's talking about that. Yeah, in the background. The Gundam. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, which video are you looking at? The uh, one where it's in the, the chat top? room there. Uh, Alex just put it in. Oh, okay. I didn't click on it. Yeah. I don't want to kill. That's pretty cool. My... That's pretty cool. But yeah. But no, the Perfect Rate Falcon is going to be absolutely amazing. It's probably going to take a couple of weeks to build, realistically. You said it's over 630 parts. Damn. Something like that. 35, 36. I mean, I take it it's going to have an interior and everything. Yes. That's the thing. Because uh, there's another, I forgot, not Ravel, Speaking but what the Luke, other. Speaking of Luke, I bet my Gundam can stand up on one arm. Probably. <laughs> on but his foot. One of the other uh, model makers claimed that, okay, uh, ours has the real working or real interior hallways and stuff like that, so you can walk from one thing to the other. Bandai went, we made the hyper drives. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're like, I gotta get okay. That. It's like, it's literally like, slap, shut up, shut up. What's the, up. I mean, what's I the going price on it right now? I mean, 400 minimum. Oh, really? Yeah. But you know, you're going to get uh, a real prop quality kind of thing out it of it. Is, I mean, it know, is, it is. You're getting a... And I'm, I'm going to get one. I just have to get the money to pre-order it because yeah. you got to put down half to pre-order it. Now, do you think it's a limited thing where they're not going to be able to, like, you can't, like, you better get it now kind of thing? No, they're just not going to, well, limited, yes. Uh, only going to make a certain amount? No, they'll make more, but it will take a while to make. Oh, that's where those little warning thingies go. Okay, I was wondering. I knew they were on there somewhere. Well, he won't stand on his hand, but I bet I, I probably could eventually finagle it. Um, yeah, there's the mega size unicorn in the background. I, I've never done uh, any unicorn builds. People talk about unicorn all the time, like it's the best series ever. I see that Bandai obviously loves unicorn. The only thing I see more from Bandai as far as series is Build Fighters. Because you know Build Fighters probably made them a mint from the kits. It was just a, it was like, you know, oh, it yeah. was a toy oh. commercial basically, you know. I just realized this is one long sticker. Not. But Unicorn I've never seen. It looks good. I, some people said it has the, the computer animation for the for the suits in it, which I don't uh, yeah, like as much. You know, they're, so. they're, they're CG, but they're done really well. Are they? Okay. Well, well have you seen any of the origin yet? The new ones, yes. And people were saying, okay, so, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the Unicorn was the initial technology for what they're doing with the origin. So you're getting or, like pr slightly pre-origin level animation. It looks amazing, okay. but see, I've seen I've seen the OVAs for Unicorn, so the right. original movies. I have not watched the series. There's not a ton of difference from what people have said, but there are a few things inserted here and there that uh, I guess just slightly dep or deepen the story. Yeah, what it's, is it's nothing... I always thought OVA was online video something, but it's not, is it? No, uh, I couldn't tell you what it actually stands for. Alex, I just know that... you're the you're the one who knows everything. Alex, VR, VR fill-in person here. He's from Spain, and in Spain they must have all the Gundam knowledge, because he has it all. <laughs> uh, realistically, he's just a nerd. Well, that's true, yeah, that's true. That, that, that as well, but I was trying to give him props, but that's okay. Well, you gotta, you gotta think about what the definition of a nerd is, man. It's literally somebody who has an exorbitant amount of knowledge in a single subject. No, that's, or, yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's knowledge combined with passion makes you a nerd. Oh, okay, that's a good, I like I think, that. Yeah. So, realistically, if you know a lot about something, and you have you have a lot of passion towards that, then yeah, it makes you a nerd. Look, man, Ray Conquista I, have, I haven't seen, so I can't say I defend the cartoon. I just love the kids. I, did I show you? Hey, let me grab it real quick because I want. I, I didn't, I'm going to show this, and then we'll talk a little bit more. And then I'm going to get here pretty soon. Let me hold on a second. Let me grab it. 
You stay there, buddy. Original video animation. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that actually that makes a total a total. Oh, I can't of sense hear you right now, Shoki. Hang on, sorry. I know I'm talking to Alex. Um, because I watched the uh, there we Ronin go. Warrior. Put my little head, my little earpiece. Oh, you put my earpieces in. There we go. Uh, that's the guy. Yeah. I mean, it's just nuts. Look at that. Yeah. I love um, it. Look at that stinger thing. He's like. Have you have you seen the G Lucifer? Same series. Same series, yeah. No, I, I mean I've seen the kit. I'm sure I've seen them all because I've added yeah. them all to a list to buy. But the, no. the G the G Lucifer is a lot of fun. Um, oh, if this uh, works. The G Reco kits are slightly limited in articulation, but they're really cool though. Oh, please let this work. Oh, kind of. It's not gonna work. I think it'll fit underneath. Not gonna work. It, it might. Work. It'll it'll work on Barbatos. It will. I'm joking. Everything. I'm but just because they, they made it so you can slap anything on anything on an I'm gonna IPO. Glue, I'm going to glue it is what I should do. Look at that. Just by itself, though, you're like, you could go to a Halloween party and be like, that's my costume. Yeah, it's a face hugger. But I love the, I love the kits. Um, i got to say, I like this build, but I don't like, I don't want all the kits to look exactly like this. And so when I was looking at them, they don't all look like the 80s kind of, look at the giant. No, they're very individual. Just really. all individual, and I thought, <clears throat> excuse me, the original Gundam dude came back to make it. I don't know how much input he had on the designs, but you know he's he wanted to do something different. They did something different, and I noticed that he also did a did, was it him? I can't remember. But the last time they got so original, quote unquote, was <clears throat> was um, Turn A or whatever. Yeah, they Turn had the, A. The mustache Turn. one and all that weird stuff, you know. And I yes. think there's we got to have that once in a while because you, you you wind up with the same you know everything looks like a Gundam or whatever, um, but uh, Zaku's a Gundam, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's all somebody get mad about that. That well, I, just, I, I just turned my head. I'm like, what? That uh, looks huge now. <laughs> that's standing up. But which one is that one again? I forget. It's not the Atlas. This is this is the uh, Gundam Ground Type S. Okay. Meaning that, that it's a ground also model, kind of, right? Is that what ground type? Well, is? it's it's a well ground type just means it's made for ground use, whereas oh. uh, like previously the Gundams, at least in Thunderbolt, were all made for space use. So you lose the sheer amount of thrusters all over the body. Um, actually, the review for this guy is coming up on Friday, so okay. if you really want to see yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do that. Yeah. Because there's there's a ton of uh, similarities between this and the Jim Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. Including like the the entire hip section is exactly the same. The frame is the same. The arms and most of the legs are the same, but they change up the armor. They lose the sheer amount of like maneuvering thrusters that you need ah. for space. Oh, I see. But, I see. And and actually, when like on the back side here, you see they have the yellow right thrusters that are pointed more up and forward mm -hmm. instead of every direction like they would be. Actually, I, uh, oh, I see. What you mean um, I have some that I was just uh, fiddling with, but they're like the long thrusters with the, like you would see a realistic spacecraft where they have multiple yeah, yeah. ones that can push it in different directions in space. Exactly. Well, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. that's funny because I've just been reading an Albert Einstein book, so I feel like I know about space right now. Um, this is a modeler's thing. You guys, tell me if you do this. If you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments. This is from. Uh, it's from my dog's ba my bags for my dog. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Um, doggy bags, you know, like the poop bags. Gotcha. Yeah. This is from their a wind of their poop bags. So you get like eight of these oh. in a pack, right? So I'm yeah. like, this falls out one day. I'm like, I'm done. And he goes, and I'm like, oh, I got to keep that. Because the first thing I thought is that's a barrel. And I thought, oh, my God, that is such a nerdy modeler thing to keep the doggy bag. I have like six of them. Let's, yeah, but you never know what you're going to need it for. Like you know what that is. Let's play name that part. You know what that is. You and Alex are good at it. Um, I've, I've done oh. the bear guy arms before. This is a weird one that I couldn't even name. What? The mace? No, no, this. Or, or delay. You're seeing okay, a delay. Okay, there's a delay. Yeah. yeah. You see the mace. This is from Looking. a kit that I, oh. I stole from. Harry, this helps to have them too like that. A thruster from something. Aren't those cool looking? Oh, um. Dude, you probably no, know. It's that's not sad. That. I built it. I don't even remember. It's not. It's not what I was thinking about. Yeah, this. I, I'd have to name the kit. I want to say it's from Seed. You know, I have 
Do you guys get the catalogs? The um... oh shit, sorry. Do you know the catalogs I'm talking about that you get in the actual store? They're called a what are they? I'm trying to look for them here. Anyway, I got, I've got 14, 15, and 16, 2014, 15, and 16, and I, they're absolutely, let me grab it because now it's going to drive me nuts. Hang on. Stay right there. What should we do while he's waiting? Okay, so, I always, why do I always make my desk worse? Whenever I do a stream. You can see that there, the cat, it's a uh, navigation catalog. Oh, okay. Now, do you get those? No. You don't? No. Oh, they're amazing. Okay, you know the... Um... Oh, okay, I, the one, the 2014 one, I had that one. Other okay. than that, I've never gotten that. Okay, I've got every year since then. I, I don't oh, really want to go earlier, because I'm not interested in early. I already have all the earlier information. But what's cool about them is they're literally... Uh, um, if you've done... Um, yeah. Like you ever wanted a catalog that listed every kid ever? You know, like I just want, they have one. Bandai makes one. Somebody told me they did, and they do. And it's about uh, 80 bucks or something. And it's like a book that has every kit they've ever made. And oh, yeah. I literally have gone through here. I don't know if I can, if this is a, a year that I've, I've done it in my 2015 one. And I've, like a kid at Christmas, I've circled the ones like Bear Guy here that I already own. So for a while, I was keeping track of them like a child, like a freaking 43-year-old oh, child. Yeah. And now what I do is I just go on Amazon, and I um, make a list. So I made a Reconquista list, and I added all the kits on there, whether they're overpriced or not, just to have a placeholder. And then I check them uh -huh. off as I get them. So this kit, this these thrusters came from, look at my desk. You guys need to quit doing live streams if you're not going to keep your desk clean. Uh, these thrusters came from this weird looking, was it unicorn? I will find it, but I kit bashed him into my very first kit bash ever. And I pulled, he, I used his body, but not the Dark. thrust. Mm, if I'm, if, when I say it, see you guys know your stuff. I don't know it as well as you yet. I will one day. I only know so much. Um, seed, I have two kits. I have the dual and I have the blitz. I mean the, um. Buster and I didn't even realize it. Those were some of like my second and third kits I bought, and I I didn't I did a review of one like six years ago, right? And granted, yeah. I was reviewing video games for a living. I was writing about stuff. I I knew what I was doing as far as reviews, but I didn't. I just p did like this, and I just hey, here's a video, and let's just have some fun. And I the comments. You're supposed to show us what this looks like. And you're supposed to do this, and you're supposed to do that. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, well, I mean, it was a shitty review. Don't get me wrong. Um, okay. But I don't remember. Now I'll have to look it up. You know what I'm going to do is I'll post it later. But it was a really cool kit. But I was like, man, I want to use that body in a kit bash. And so I did. I used the body, the head. Um, I've got it on my shelf. And one arm was from an old, was the other arm of this that I showed last week, which is the um, arm from. It's not from, no. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to think of the things that came up. But. Yeah, I mean, it, anyway, this arm thing, you got to... know what that is. Yeah, that arm there. This is the Barbatos arm. See, I can prove it to you. See, look. It's a Barbatos arm. I am a Barbatos. That's how it goes, right? No, anyway, that's not the yeah. Barbatos arm. That's how, that's how Gundam works. <laughs> that's just exactly. I am a gun cannon. I have a gun. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm going through my photos, and I cannot... I don't think I actually have direct photos on my Facebook page of my custom grays. Okay, so was that one of your favorite kits then? Because we were talking about that. Cause, yeah, you, know, another you, you might want to make a video of your favorites. So I don't want to, you'd have to list them all because I'd be interested in hearing that. But as many well, as you built, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I did a, I did a top five, top and top and bottom five of 2016. Yeah, I saw that. That's actually my um, most watched video right now. Just under ten thousand. Look, uh, I wrote about I wrote articles for a living for years, and that uh -huh. whole listicle thing that people hated, where top ten of this, top people. The the yeah. only way I got more clicks on my article was if I mentioned panties in it. Yeah, yeah. I know See, that's crazy. So I, I keep saying I need to do more top fives, but I, or I'm topless not the point, fives, and then you get a lot. Yeah, of that, nobody wants that. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is that uh, I don't have enough of any one thing 
to like do top five directly. I mean, sure, I could do. Oh, my favorite kits of this year. Honestly, I could do like I, I, I'm thinking about doing at the end of each, each month. Like these are the kits I built this much. Do a, do a run through. You know, yeah. like hey, I like this one because of this. Blah 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 blah. But you know, like I want to do my top IBO kits. <laughs> oh I'm right, not, right. I'm not through them all yet. There's a lot keep, of them. <laughs> Uh, like so, realistically, my you know spoilers. My top kit of 2016 was an IBO kit because I loved it really? that much. Yeah. Don't tell me which one. Uh, but I could guess. Yeah, but well, you have to watch. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guess. <laughs> it wasn't a Barbatos. No, it wasn't Barbatos. Barbatos wasn't even on the list. It was a Graze then. No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, Oddly enough, it was not a Graze. I, I mean, I love the Graze. Don't get me wrong, yeah, but they're yeah. not like super special until you do something to them. Okay. That makes um, sense. But see, like I've got, I've got my main custom grade. You have to probably go to my Instagram realistically. Yeah. But anybody, uh, Alex, if you were looking at my thing, um, if you go to my, uh, oh, not no. my normal albums, the header picture, whatever the heck, not the profile, but the other one. Actually, the profile picture does have it, but you can see my my custom grace. It's amazing. But then I have the one I did in the four hour build night. Yeah, that was uh, awesome. It, th- you guys, that's down in um, Houston. Yes. See, you guys so, have like it at a bar, don't you? It, that one, that build night was at a, it's an e cig lounge, but it also has a bar in it. Oh, um, that's sounds so fun. It was fun, except for you know, personally, I'm not a smoker or a vapor. Right, right. Or, or a vapist. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's not call it that, but yeah. Oops. Well, what I, I call them, or actually, I call them vape tart, realistically. But no, no, it's uh, fine. I, no, I, I just, I, I don't smoke, but I drink, and I yeah. think it, a gun, a Gundam club where you could get, you, you could actually sit and drink. Yeah. Well, you could have razors and like yeah. beers. They're sharp objects. It'd be and beautiful. Then, and alcohol is so good. Um, but I'm always jealous actually, of the club you guys have down there. Yeah. Well, actually, the Houston scene has been growing in the last like six months. Wow. And it's awesome. But now uh, we just got some great news. Today, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody because I don't know how entirely official it is, but we're waiting to fully announce it. But we're getting a new manager at our hobby town who is also a massive Gundam nerd. Yeah, oh, so that's good. That's good. He's well, we already got uh, Dion, and he's he's a great great dude. Um, he, he's he's currently working at the at the hobby town here, but not um, running anything. But, but he is in Gunpla orders and stuff. Do, you, do okay. you think that it makes it? I mean, it does make a difference in the selection for sure. It does. Yeah. But the the funny thing is, is that they have to prove to their bosses that Gundams will move. I I and heard the same thing at my at the North Austin one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the North Store. Yeah. And you know what? We had a Gundam guy, and he's gone. The rest of us, I like the staff. They're great and, and totally nice people. They sell a lot of um, remote control cars and expensive. Oh, what is that? That's my Grays. Oh, that's right. It's at this angle, looks a little different. Yeah, it's a little, Holy he's kind crap. of. Oh, he probably. He looks like he's thrusting. I just realized that. No pun Thrust. intended. Because I have. Because I have a. Uh, oh, it looks sick on that camera actually with the exposure. No, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. No, I mean, it looks good. I like that. But yeah, that's my custom grays. This, this is the first full-on uh, kit bash slash full paint job that I've ever done. How did you paint it? What'd you use? Uh, Tamiya spray paints. Oh, re- oh, okay. So, see. Uh, and, and a little yeah. bit of and a little bit of hand paint. A little bit. Okay. Of hand paint. Okay. So the yellow, the yellow bits you see there, that's all, um, all hand painted, and then using random stickers that I had laying around. Uh, Alex has got. He showed me a couple weeks ago a, a, a portable setup that you can use permanently. You're, that was what three hundred, I think, for the whole thing, and it was really nice. So if we ever get into airbrushing, we'll just go in at the same time, so we can kind of help each other out. But I mean, uh, that's a smooth finish, so you know, you did good. Yeah, it's not even top coated. Are you are you done though? Then or are you still are you gonna top coat it and stuff? Then or are you are you? No, I'm done? gonna leave it like it is because uh, honestly, um, oh. the the, the worst that we're gonna get with no top coat is it's gonna oxidize eventually, oh. and that just makes it look older. I see. So I'm, I see. I'm uh, I'm kind of okay with that. Well, see, I come from an artist background like you. Yeah. Um, drawing, painting, sure, all that stuff. So, you know, the value and this is something a lot of Gundam builders haven't really. Um, Yes, you're right. Tamiya spray cans are expensive, which is why uh, I ran out of paint while I was running building this, um, and had to use testers, and I screwed up the part that I painted mm. with that. But anyways, uh, something that people don't get, and Bandai spends a lot of time and effort figuring this out and trying to engineer it into the kit: color separation, making things balanced. 
you know, stuff like that. Sure. But you don't get that if you're not an artist. You don't have an artist eye. I see. You know, it's, it's something that takes longer to build. Yeah. You know, some, you know, you are built up and develop. Um, no pun intended. Yeah. But like with this guy, like uh, the only thing I don't like that I did on this was the copper. It's not terrible, mm-hmm. but uh, now I wish I hadn't done the copper. What would you have rather have done? Do you think? Uh, just another maybe a darker silver. Okay. Yeah. Of, um, yeah. Joints. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't go overwhelming with it. But oh, it like, looks good to the, me. The, the separation of the different levels of grays. You got also the metallic. You've got the black. The the matte finishes. Because that's another thing people don't think about. Alternating your finishes. Yeah. So between uh, gloss, flat, metallic. Do you mean like in one kit? Yeah, yeah. in one bill. Because uh, this guy, you know, he's got a definite mixture of flats and mattes. And then, of course, metallic colors and stuff like that. Also adding a little bit of uh, bright silver mm-hmm. every now and then. And, uh, oops, I just bought my camera. The one I did in the four-hour thrash. Um, that sounds so fun. I actually did the, I painted the inner frame all silver and then hit it with a quick just a real dirty coat of black um not completely covering it but just adding some darkness to now the four hour thing this was yeah. where was this at again that was at the vapor lounge where, how did where did you paint them at like you just went out back outside i literally stepped outside spray painted real quick and went back in i mean but how many people <laughs> were doing this is my you know what i'm saying Painting? Yeah, like, building? Like, was... there was about 25 people. Wow. Yeah, how many people I was the you think painted? I... None. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. That's kind of weird. I thought more people I was, would do it. I, I was the only crazy bastard who did a full color change and spray paint versus everyone else. Now, um, it there was... Dry. It would dry by then, four hours. Sure. Oh, it did. No, no, yeah, well, I brought my hair dryer, too. Because <laughs> uh, that's, that's how you get your paint to dry real quick. And it was cold. And damp, actually. So, like, no, I had to come inside. Set it up a little bit, though. More was it? Was it? Um, you had to bring the kit, or they did they provide it, or what was? No, that one was uh, bring your own kit. It was build whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, because that would be hours. expensive. Yeah. And it was a competition, so we were all competing uh... for the master grade Providence. Oh but shit! But we didn't. But we didn't know that there was a secondary uh, kit available. One got donated at the last minute. Nice. And it was the. HG uh, local type, which is a great kit. That's what I ended up winning. The dumb thing is, I lost by one point. Oh, they had a point. And scale I know like what they were was. rewarding points, huh? They had a point scale. Yeah, they have a point scale. They were judging it on um, your judging it on finish, right? Posing, uh, detail work, stuff like that. Oh, you had to pose so it. I know too. what. That I, is so cool. You had to pose it too. Uh, if you if you go back through the group, you can see the pictures from it. Actually, I took so I took pictures. Cool. I did a video on it. Actually, if you, if anybody's yeah, interested, I remember you doing show. a video. Yeah, yeah, that was a, it, was, it seemed like a long time ago. Though. It was. It yeah. was. It was uh, back. You do a lot of videos, yeah. though. You got to admit, so it, it can be easy to get Dude, lost. Okay, liter- August twentieth is my one year anniversary on YouTube, and I have over three hundred and sixty videos. Oh, there, see, so. I've got. I have a ten-year anniversary a couple, six months ago for YouTube. Yeah. And I've got. Uh, let me go back. Not how many do you have? Okay, hold on. I gotta look because it was it because it goes up and down depending on what I delete because I had to delete it. I was gonna say I have I think maybe a thousand or something. If you have half that now, <laughs> Jimmy right. Christmas, dude. Move Skype window. Um. Uh. Oh, hey, I'm at seven hundred ninety subscribers. Just under 800. Nice. Uh, okay, scooch this over again. Where is the thing that tells me how many videos I have? This yeah, where is that? I'm looking there. too. Okay, video manager. That's what I was Or you thinking. could go to about, I think, as well. Oh, that's true. Okay. Uh, yeah. three, 375 videos as of current. Damn. So you got 375 after a year. I've got after 10 years. <clears throat> where did you find it? Video manager? Go to video manager. It's at the top corner. Is this not easier? All, all the technical all technical stuff behind the scenes, guys. Oh, good. I have another comment probably still perpetuating the argument in my last I got 1,050 in 10 years. Over yeah. 10 years, you had... 375. A third, over, almost half of that. Well, you know, you're getting damn close. A third of that, easy. Over a third. Yeah. In less than a year. So if you keep going the way you're going... Uh, well, you, know. you got to think. I have a ton of spare time. Oh, shit. Dude, dude no. wait. Don't drop. You drop. I wasn't watching. What'd you drop? I just I wrecked them. They're having war, and they're oh, okay. having a war slash dance party. Yeah, <laughs> it's a war party. 
Um, but anyways, like the, uh, I do videos every day, with the exception of uh, Sundays and Saturdays. Those are just whenever, if I throw out a special video. Um, usually whenever I do a nerd cast or a update review or something yeah. big, that's going to take, like usually my hour long videos, which I've had a couple, um, those will go up on a Saturday just because people have more time to sit. Sure. Watch. Sure. Uh, but I also, that's, that's taking into consideration the short videos that I've deleted, like things for, right, yeah. for, uh, giveaways and stuff. Right. So realistically, I probably deleted about 25 videos Well, that, I th that weren't important. So I say uh, you keep it up because I've done 10 years and there was times when I, of course I never, I stopped messing with it and I wish I, I I'm good about keeping stuff. In fact, I'm obsessed about keeping stuff. I have a timeline, yes. of, you know. But oh, he's flying. He's doing a Superman like he's a son, his son. Um, but I I that does not look like what's happening. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I I you won't regret it. Even if you got out of Gundam one day, you'll be able to look back and you have it all recorded. It's fantastic. But well, well, the only thing that sucks is I don't want to delete anything else off of off of uh, YouTube because I've run out of storage space on my computer and had to start deleting uh, actual video files. Yeah. So I need those up there so I can archive them, have them sure. later, anyways. Sure. Okay, guys. Uh, just just showing this off. So, you know what? I think my exposure might still be too high. Maybe that's what it is. Let me go look. My my uh, burning gun is kicking him in the face. Yeah. Oh, my oh shit. God. I was talking about this last week, and I think Alex was the one who said no, and somebody else uh, sent me a message and said don't, but I said I'm thinking of taking some of my kits and gluing them in, into position, making a statue out of them. You could, but then you'd be like the bad guy from a Lego movie. But see, that's... But they do... The joints wear down. If you glue it... I mean, I guess I could always later... They do. Well, work. I mean, for the price, you. They're, they're one, one of the reasons they're so cheap. These kits is they don't last forever. Their poses, you know, some of the you could have the plastic for thousands of years. I imagine if you took care of it. But do you know what I mean? I uh, there's some that I just want them to look a certain way. Maybe not. I like one or two, one or two. Um, but yeah, you're right. You're right. Maybe I should. But but realistically, like, um, if you're gonna have them posed in like a fighting position and you want them diorama, sure. Just don't use like heavy glue. Just use some nice. Or as I was instructed, <laughs> kind of rudely, the other day, uh, really? paint paint your kits and they'll they'll have a lot more rigidity to them. Yeah, I mean, I do. I'm not done with the kit until I do some. By the time I customize it with some, either I'm doing the colored pencil for the lines or I'm doing some kind of thing to it. After the coats and everything of, of matte coats, because I like them real matte. It usually they usually have a very a lot more sturdiness. I find. Um, I always play with them a lot like this before I do something with them. Once they're done, they're pretty much stuck, and so I'm not too worried about it. But there's a few that are a little bit older. Um, you know, they're getting there maybe in a year. So, so I'm thinking, well, maybe what I'll do is I'll do a diorama because that's the that's the the new hot thing amongst the kids these days. I'll probably try uh, and do one. You know, I, I think for most dioramas, when they're going to be a permanent state, they they do have it's to. Like glue a statue. Oh. <laughs> what is it about you can't you can't do this you can't film like model kits or toys or something without something falling or just getting too much shit on Dude, your desk like, well normally I've got a weight sitting on, t on the base of the light because it's actually strapped to uh, a light ah. uh, my, my review light but the joints irony uh, the joints of my light have been very loose as of late ah. and like I can't get them to stay like I, I tried to fold it up and take it with me to uh, Hobby Town when I did the uh, Shoki Builder Showcase Swap. Right. That's a lot of words to say all at once. Um, which, honestly, that, that went off. That's one of the best things I've ever done, honestly. Keep best, doing that best. stuff. That's great because it's concentrating on community, too. Of the yeah. Cause that, awesome. Well, for, for those guys who obviously don't know my channel, um, I do the Builder Showcase. So I show off my stuff all the time 90 99% of the time I'm showing the things I built yeah so every now and then I want to show off something somebody else built yeah yeah and you know the first time around it was uh, Dustin word showing off his uh, his custom heavy arms and that was difficult because he lives in or on the outskirts of Austin like way way oh, out wow, okay. San, Antonio, San, San Antonio I'm right, sorry right right he was way out of San Antonio and then the next ones after that I got with people that were local you know I got Dude, I love the uh, the uh... <sighs> The video game one, um, Metroid. Holy shit! Oh yeah, Dougie, dude. How Dougie's video doesn't have a thousand hits already? I have yeah, no. Yeah. 
Like yeah. the last few showcases I've done, honestly, don't have that many views. Yeah. And I'm like, it's like, what? Did, uh, okay, I get there's people who want to see a review. They want to know more about the kit. But there are that many more people who want to see an awesome custom that's done. Yeah, that was you great. Know? I loved it. It looked it looked um, pre-made it, like a toy or his, something. Yeah, his Samus is so good. Yeah, it was really Dude, good. you got to see the thing he's working on now. Like yeah. he brought he brought he brought a couple of things to uh, Hobby Town last month. Um, he's got some really cool. He's really getting into kit bashing. Oh, nice. And his painting skills are great. Actually, I need to get with him a little bit more. Um, but his was awesome. But with the showcase swap introducing the random aspect of mul multiple builders building for each other yeah blindly was so much fun because i knew what they were doing yeah they did they didn't know yeah and like it's like I, I but i didn't want to see the finished product until we got there so that i got to be surprised with it now what sucked about that and you, you know it in the video too yeah. uh, we were supposed to get all the filming and everything done an hour before the meet started but due to things that happened yeah one dude was an hour and a half, almost two hours late. Oh wow! So we, but we were running out of time because we literally had until the store closed, and the meet was supposed to go till six when the store closed. Uh, we're literally like, "All right, guys, we gotta shoot now, or we run out of time." Everybody, yeah. shut up for a minute. Yeah, just you know, be quiet, yeah. It's like you've got ten. You, we need ten minutes of mostly silence. Okay. Oh, there were people yeah. in the background. A lot of people. It, we were, it was in the middle of. It was in the middle oh. of a gun. <laughs> so we were having the Gundam Club meet at tell. the same time, but that's that's what that's what happened. It was just that's like, great. so I mean, what we Ooh. we integrated it in because when we did the actual reveal part of it, um, we had everybody circle around, so everybody got to see the reveal at the, the same time. So we got that, to see yeah. the crowd's reaction. That part was fun. Yeah. But the uh, okay, guys, we're still filming. Shh. Yeah. You know, there there were there were people who clearly weren't paying attention. And, you know. <laughs> You only get so mad at them because I mean we all got inconvenienced by it. It didn't go as exactly as planned, but it went off awesome. Sure. And those guys are still talking about the kits they got to this day. They're like, "Dude, that is so awesome!" So I ended up building relationship between yeah. new builders. That's what it's and, about, man. And that was so much fun, and I want to do it again. Yeah. It's finding finding the people because I've got volunteers who are in Austin. I've got volunteers who are up north of Dallas. Yeah, now, the, like, the issue with the Texas club is it's just so the Texas is so huge. It's like it literally do. is like three states, you know. So it's kind of it can be hard for some people, including the people who are obviously not from Texas. I think what we just crested three thousand members. Yeah, oh yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like yeah, but how many people are posting? How many people are actually participating? True, true. But even if you minus, you know, it's twenty five percent. You still have 250, 300 people, four hundred active, exactly. you know, and it's it, that's a lot to get together and stuff. It sucks. But the the Houston scene, the biggest problem with Houston is it is a massive city. You yeah. Know? Oh, yeah. I think it's like fourth in the nation, I think. Yes. But, like, literally shrink the problems of the entire club down to one city. And why is this? Oh, okay. I thought my phone was telling me it was dying. Um, but, yeah, shrink it down to a single city, whereas you've got guys who have to drive more than an hour to come do a Gundam meet, you know? Yeah. So there's legitimately people who won't come out to meets because it's so far so we've started spreading them out so you've got the one in hobby town which is southwest side like way out then you've got uh dna and uh the, the vape lounge which are right next to each other sure. actually. but they're on the north east side so if we could get something going on on the south side so you get more people from that side because we got guys who are in the baytown area you got guys who are way out the other side yep and uh, they don't want to come out because so far, but they don't have anywhere else to meet. Whereas Hobby Town is convenient, DNA is convenient because the people who work there are club members. They're fans. They want to make it happen. Well, yeah, yeah. They just have to have whatever. There's other comic book stores and stuff. Like I know uh, the Austin meet is always at. Um, well, what is it? Wonkos, um, but I don't like it. It's too small. We need to get some. I'm going to talk to what's his name and see if I can help arrange. I was going to do it at Dragon's Lair one time, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. Fantastic. We'll see. I because I've made it out to the Wonkos meets a few times. Actually, that's how I met yeah, you. Yeah, it's too small. Around. Too wait. It's it's, it's even worse than it was before. Like it's you're crowded and you got to find a table. It's like it's like you're at a bus stop. I mean, I love is meeting it, the people there, but it's just like yeah, it's too much. Is is it worse because there's so many more people, or the space has gotten smaller? It's just a bad space, and they don't really sell Gundam. They have a few, but um, prices are bad. Yeah, what we're gonna do though is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here because a 
I have to pee wow. super bad. Uh, and <laughs> B, it's getting nine o'clock, so I've got to get start getting ready for bed because I have to get up super duper early every day. Um, Shoki, though, real quick, uh, we know you're on YouTube. Um, the show, the YouTube uh, channel uh, um, address is always weird. Mine is like slash user slash bow turkey because it's ancient. Uh, how do you find it, yours? You can either just go ahead and search Shoki reviews exactly as. Yeah, I mean you're all over the. If you just Google. Or yeah. you, it's. Because they haven't given me a um, a specific URL, realistically, it's a uh, YouTube slash C slash Shoki Reviews. Oh, okay. Um, which is how they're doing it now, I guess. Oh. So you don't have to type in the random collection of letters and numbers. I see. I uh, see. Also, if you you can get there from my Facebook, it's you know the top link on my Facebook. So if anybody ever needs to find it, you can do it there. Um, like I said, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'm trying to get more active on all the social media. Yeah, me too. Uh, I mean, I've always been I active, but uh, yeah, me too. But I, I always ignored Instagram. I always ignored Twitter. It wasn't for me. But now everything I, every video I post goes to Twitter. Every picture sure. I post on Twitter. You know, and, I try, and I'm trying to get better at t uh, tagging and adding so that, uh, you know, whenever I review other things, like uh, when I do my uh, Nintendo reviews, my, my uh, little figures, Transformers like that. I'm trying to hit up the actual companies that made them, so they'll see my review and oh, be yeah. like, "Send me things." Yeah, you know, yeah. It worked for me <laughs> for even, years. <laughs> even though I can't technically get sponsored just yet because I'm not at a thousand uh, thousand subs, but I'm getting there. Yeah. I was hope I was hoping to hit a thousand by my end. I get paid from YouTube still. I will get a couple hundred or whatever, or well, hundred bucks every couple months. I don't do like I used to do, but yeah, you can make some money off. Twitch, I'm doing the subscriber thing soon. I should be getting my little letter. <laughs> I was doing Twitch right. more, but it was for other people years back. I should have been using my own channel the whole time. But... I'm watching you pose your things. Now, are you are you just doing that for your own uh Oh, this is this is war. I'm making the sounds in my head. Plus, I'm trying to work out the aggravation from having to pee so bad. Well, what I'm trying to figure out is... <laughs> Well, you know you could have stopped and beat it anymore. Yeah, but kidding. what I'm trying to figure out is if you've got a camera above what you're working no, on. No, but I should because these poses are good. He's, that's hilarious. He's like wrestling. Dude, okay. Now you you saw you saw the pictures I posted last night in the group uh, of the uh, the dang it the ground type fighting Grimlock. No, the, the, I didn't see that. How did you not see that? Oh, okay, well, I've been, good. I've been uh, yeah. in debate after already. after we're done streaming and after you've peed for like 20 minutes. Go go look at my post because everybody's <laughs> loving it and laughing at it. But like instead of doing a video, you know, I'm doing not really stop motion, but like scene by scene, like. At first, you know, he's got Grimlock standing over him, and he's trying to put his uh, beam lance at him. He's like, you know, get back, beast. That's the initial picture. And then I did like an oh, epic, yeah. <laughs> ep awesome. epic downward thrust of the lance, like he's coming from above to stab him. Hell yeah! And then he uh, he ends up catching the lance in his mouth, and then like, dude, you know, as you're as you're talking about it, it's I'm going yeah. along the pictures because it's it, you're animating it. Yeah, I animated it. I was having so much. Oh, that's like, so cool. The, the the wifey is sitting off to that. What are you doing? I like I said I'm playing hush. <laughs> you know one of the greatest things I saw, the greatest post was the guy who said and I'll have to, I wanted to I want to like frame it. He said, yeah. "Does anybody have a, this part I'm missing?" And he posed his master grade Gundam like crying, like he's sad because he's missing the part. So he's like, "Boo hoo!" Oh, I just broke him in half. Yes. Like, Boo yeah, when he was missing and then he the... said, "Well, what does the part look like?" And so he made his Gundam hold the part where it's supposed to connect, it like broke, he was still yeah. upset. Like here it is. I was like, Dude, "That's that fucking so brilliant." Good. But anyway, all right. Yeah, well, it, it was nice, second. nice finally chatting with you. We'll do it again. We'll have a build on here sometime. But I'd love to come down to Houston sometime and hang out for sure. Oh, I, the Shoki Cave. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea how long of a drive. I'm I'm from uh, Dallas for most of my time. I've been here for about three years. So which which end of Austin are you on? Uh, we are on the north side. So Pflugerville or yeah, around that area. Yeah. yeah okay. So uh, well, for sure. Basically, just very quickly, if you just hop on the two nineties yeah. and haul, haul ass here, it's if you go slow, it's two and a half. Oh, that's drive, not bad at all. If you drive at a normal pace and you take uh, what is it, seventy one yeah. and all that. Uh, you can get here in an hour and a half. Or oh, something. that's not bad at all. Yeah, maybe. No, I'll that's try why. That that's why I come to hang out. Yeah. That's why I hang out in Austin a lot. Like I've got my beer friends. I still have in Austin. I come to town for two things: Gundams and beer. My, so those are the first yeah. things. I hit Hobby Town and then I head to the breweries. My wife. <laughs> that's drive, what I do. Is, spends almost an hour each way to work, so that's not bad. No, but. well, you got to think. For me, driving an hour and a half, I'm literally going to Hobby Town. Right. Me. Yeah. I'm 
I'm so far north, and it's so far south and east. I'm sorry, so uh, south and west. I'm an hour and a half in traffic from Hobby Town. So whenever I got to take off for meets, it means something. Yeah, because <laughs> it should. You know, it should. But now, but now, thanks to uh, Dion and his awesomeness, we now have Sunday meets, and I can actually not have to take off work. So it's awesome. That's good. Well, it was nice but chatting yeah. with you. Though, finally, I, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see, I see you all over. So I'll, I'll talk to you here soon. This is going to go up on YouTube as it does normally. This is also going to be on the Twitch. So uh, soon I should be having subscriptions going through. What I want to do is raise a few subscriptions and use that money to uh, buy some, do some giveaway kits and stuff like that because that would be fun. Okay. Speaking of that, I need to go check the mail too because I won first place. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's slipping out of my mind. I feel horrible. I will do a video of it when I get it. But on, on our, our, in our Texas group, I won the, uh, a kit. He was just he had four kits and he gave them away. It was a I've won a converge kit that you can only get over in that Japanese show I think it was. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing for that. I'll I'll tell you guys about that. So watch me on YouTube. But anyway, uh, follow me on Twitter. It's all down there below. Twitter and Instagram. Also, you could just uh, Google Bo Hindman and you'll find me about ten pages of me. Uh, thanks for coming out, though, Shoki, for sure. About time. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I'll, I'll have to have you on the uh, the Nerdcast one day. I, I need to, what I need to do is come down and do one of those swap builds is what I need to do. Oh, that'd be a lot of fun. Oh, my God. Dude, if you if you brought one of your hand, hand-drawn-on hand kits, that would yeah. be amazing. Okay. Well we'll, Guys, well, we'll chat about it for sure. And uh, I'll, um, I need to mirror this a little bit on my channel if possible so everybody else can see this. So people can, from my channel can come over to you. Oh, whatever. Go for it. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. We'll do that once you get it live on YouTube. Yeah. But all right, guys, y'all have a good night. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. If I go ahead and do one of my outros just for fun. Yeah. Uh, make sure you follow me on all the thingies. Uh, Bo will maybe link them. Who knows? We'll see what happens. On YouTube. But uh, yeah. as as I always say, remember as always to keep on nerding, <laughs> to keep on building, and let's keep building this community together. Hell yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. I right, talk to y'all you... later. See you later, Alex, and all everybody else in the chat room. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back on Saturday with my longer build, and uh, I can't remember what I'm doing Saturday. Check the calendar on Twitch. So, talk to you later, guys.